Hey everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 episode of Fashion Friday and hopefully you guys are all ready because we have a ton of outfits. Real quick though, before we do hop in, two things I want to mention. One, I did a video earlier talking about all the clothing glitches we know at the moment. I'm sure there'll be more and I will definitely keep you guys updated, but at the moment those are the ones that you need or that you need to know for some of these outfits in this video. And then second, as always, go on Twitter and use the hashtag SaintsFF if you want to tweet me or if you want to share an outfit with me. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the clothing in this DLC, in this import-export DLC. They did so much. I mean, apart from making it actually an option to switch masks and glasses and stuff without glitching, the clothes themselves are really good. And I, I'm excited to see, you know, once people have been playing for a week, two weeks, what outfits that everyone can come up with. But to start us off, you guys already know. I mean, we had to. It's the horse mask. You know what I mean? It's the zebra mane. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can see everything. I mean, the zebra mask, the, like, the striped shirt, the new jacket with the zebra, the zebra pants, white shoes. I mean, obviously, white gloves, and that's zebra man for you. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of these out there in GTA Online. Next one, to sort of continue the horse themed, although this one's actually based off of an, an actual character. This one is Bojack Horseman. Now, I'm not, I've never watched the show. I've heard good things. But if anyone has, and you like the show, and you've always wanted to live as BoJack Horseman in GTA Online, well, now you can. The outfit consists of the gray sports coat, the flower fractal tee, the classic low crotch jeans, and the red canvas shoes, obviously with the chestnut horse mask. Here's a picture. I guess there's a separate version that you can also use that's on the right, but there's BoJack Horseman for you. Next one from Thesis Badger, he has another stellar outfit, man. He's... He, he has some, some really great outfits, but this one is called D-Bag X. It's sort of like a biker-themed outfit, but it does use some of the new clothes. So to make it, put on the black Defender vest with a black parachute, black driving gloves, and then the spiked gauntlets on both hands. For the bottom, go with the black leather low crotch pants and then all black canvas shoes. And then for the head, you're going to need to do one of those glitches to get the ox and hatchets spiked biker helmet on with the mono outlaw goggles and the skull tight ski mask you can see this outfit just looks awesome i mean even if you're not sort of a biker dude i still think you might want to have this one in your rotation i love the 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 hat and the helmet and the glass they all look really well together and then the new pants it definitely fits with this outfit fourth one from dope boy army this one's a really cool and simple one and i feel like in the future we'll be seeing a lot more of these because of the new clothes that they added, but this one is called the Runner. To make it, put a red camo bigness hoodie on with black fingerless gloves, the red bigness cap, and then the rebreather. And then for the bottom, go with the black low crotch pants and the all red studded sneakers. Like I said, pretty simple, but I love the colors. I love the black, the red. Here are his pictures. Now he doesn't have the rebreather on. He has the face paint on. I just, it looks so good. And these are the type of outfits that I'm excited to see what everyone can create. Next one is from Amjad. This one is called the Modern Peshmerga. I have no idea what that is, but I think it looks pretty cool. To make it, put the Woodland Camo Bigness t-shirt on with the Camo Low Crotch Pants with the Pearl Plain High Tops. For the accessories, go with the Platinum Balaclava Necklace, the Carbon Kronos Quantum Watch, Black Fingerless Gloves, the Gear Wrist Chains on your right hand, the grayscale urban ski goggles, the camo bigness face, and then I think what I did, I put a black hat on just because I think the black hat adds a little bit to it. But the camo outfit looking really good. This is more of like a streetwear camo outfit. It sucks that they don't match 100%, but I think it's it's similar enough that, you know, people aren't going to care or mind. Next one, we have Fresh to Death from Frankie. This one's another simple one. Start with a hoodie charcoal sleeveless hoodie. For the bottom, go with the charcoal low crotch sports shorts. For the shoes, boat luxury shoes. For the accessories, the gray abstract bigness hat and the high end silver superior glasses. Looks awesome. Really simple. The gray or the light gray and the dark gray blend so nicely together. And then, hey, when have we ever used boat shoes on <laughs> in, a, in an outfit? So there you go. Being a little unique. Next one from Edward is the snowboarder. I think this one's pretty cool, especially with the snow coming out. I guess it's based off of that new game called Steep, but you can see to wear it, you put on the big bulky heist battle pants on the bottom. Then you put on a gray turtleneck with the blue 
bomber jacket or sports jacket. I'm sure you could change that, you know, if you really wanted to. If you don't like that color, there's a ton of options, especially some new ones. Then for the accessories, go with the black wool gloves, the black parachute, the gray ski mask that will connect or that looks like the same color that you're wearing on the turtleneck, the pink ski goggles, and then the white saggy beanie. Looks really awesome. I love the colors black, pink, blue, and white all really go nicely together. And like I said, when snow comes out, you might want to have this one to use in the snow. Moving along, Christian has this one. This one's the Graffiti Artist. Super simple, but I love it, man. It actually only requires three things, although I think I put a hat on, so that's a fourth. For the top, go with the sprayed, jeed, juffy, or guffy sweater. For the pants, the classic faded low crotch jeans. And then, for the shoes, go with the white canvas slip-ons. Like I said, I think I put a black hat on just because I wanted to, but you don't need to. Looks awesome. I love that sweater. I love those new jeans. Just looks really cool, really simple, and it's a great looking outfit. And then the last one that I have gameplay for is called DJ Abstract from Brandon Gamer. This one's really cool because it gives you some crazy colors, but not too much. So to make it, put on the Abstract Bigness Puffer Jacket with the Carpal Curse Black Tee underneath it. That's a biker jacket or the biker shirt, by the way. For the bottom, go with the black low crotch pants with the Sting High Top Sneakers. And then for the accessories, the black driving gloves, the Tropical Urban Ski Mask or Ski Goggles, the Bold Abstract Bigness Face Mask, and the Bold Abstract Bigness Cap. Looks cool. Like I said, not too much color, but you still get you know, your reds, your yellows, and your blues. Here's some other ones that I don't actually have gameplay for, but this one's also from Christian. It's called The Overtime. You can see everything you need there on the right. Looks really good. I just, man, we need more than 10 outfit slots because there's just so many outfits I want to save, but I can't because I got to replace them for next week's episode. But that's a really great one. I love that color. Here we have one from BBBBBBBBB. <laughs> that's his name on Twitter. And he has the Warlord pants on here with some black shoes. It looks like the one of the new hoodies with some of the new masks and hat on nice and simple outfit but looks great here we have another horse one the creepy horse mask i guess is what it's called and <laughs> you can see as a picture there of what it's based off of and honestly that's almost identical so thank you for that submission here's another one from dope boy army this one is called the urban kid you can see everything on the left there another sort of simple one it's got that nice sweater on but i like it looks really good here we have another one from Dope Boy Army called The Hidden. I love the color scheme on this one. You got some matching sort of like blues, whites, and blacks all going on here. Next one from BBBBBBB again is the pink or white and pink RNG. This one will require you to glitch the pink pants on, but I think it looks pretty cool because you can see you got the pink on the mask there, and then it matches sort of the pink on the RPG, but it looks really cool. You got white gloves, looks like white parachute that new hat, and then maybe some of the new, the pink new shoes. Here we have one from Ninja Cat. This one is a clown. I'm sure you might be seeing a lot of these around now that we have that new clown mask, and I guess you can see in the background, it's somewhat of a clown van. I guess the, the best use for this would be at nighttime when people can't see you. You just run up on them and then scare them. And then the last one we have for the guys, this one is from King Gaming. You can see the picture there on the right and then all the clothing on the left. This one is the purple punk. I love the color purple, so I really like this outfit. You got some some jeans on, it looks like, with like the purple the new purple shoes, the new purple hat, and then glitching some stuff on the face. Really awesome outfits. A ton though, like I said. Now let's go ahead and hop into the female outfits. The first one from GTA Short Films. This one is called the Hacker Girl, and you can't see a picture from the front, but I think just the picture from the back, it it definitely looks, I guess, how I would picture a hacker girl. You can see what you need on the left there. Quickly moving through these because I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. We have the Hip Hop Dancer from GTA Short Films. And this one's pretty cool. I love that. Uh, I love like the creativity here. And then the next one that that person has is the Hip Hop Dancer 2. Just a different or an alternative version. I love the baggy pants, the shoes and all that. The hat and the gloves. Here we have one from Cryptic Entries. This one I guess is called Survive. So using some biker stuff there, obviously you can see all that stuff at the bottom. Here we have another one from Cryptic Entries. This one is called Grunge. So if you wanted your character to be a little bit more like that, there's a good outfit. And then probably one of the coolest female outfits we have is the dancer from Sean Wiltshire. A lot of dancer themed uh, female outfits this week, but 
I like it. It looks really cool. I don't know if those are new clothes or not, but you can see it looks pretty simple. Just some like legging pants, the new shoes, I guess. And then I think that might be one of the new shirts. And actually, no, we have two more female outfits from Christian. This one is the gym rat. Pretty simple. Looks really good. And then the urban hipster right here. Unfortunately, the text is over the, the outfit or whatever, but you can still see it. And if you want an outfit that looks along those lines, there you go. So there you guys have it. That was like freaking 20 or so some outfits. We had a lot. And hopefully there'll be a lot more for next week's episode. But that is it. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a like if you did enjoy. There'll be a live stream later on today. Oh, also I'm doing a shark card giveaway on my Twitter. So go follow me over there and enter if you want a chance to win. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.